This week on The Fish Guy. Dude, get your line off of mine. You're going to make Dude, me lose stay my... Stay on your side of the boat. There he is. Look at this. There he Whoa. is. I got a lot of issues here. What? I guess I got to start with that over there. I don't have a teddy bear. Like He's got okay. it. Whoa! <laughs> guess what? What? You I'm got a fish on? Hey, don't get in my you way, You might have right? to get out of my way. No. All right, Lane, you're going to get a bite. Oh, what? <laughs> Good dog! That was awesome! <laughs> That's it. Fish on. Beautiful. Huh? Oh! Nice. Doubled up. Doubled up. Big Pine Key in the Lower Keys is the next stop on the Fish Guys road trip. Beautiful wilderness, tropical RV parks, and emerald green waters combined for a quaint, low-key getaway. Despite windy conditions and an approaching tropical storm, George and Lane hit the water with Captain Mike Dewan in his 28-foot contender. Well, hey, the positive note is it's not raining. Right. Nope. The sun's out. The sun's out, we're on the water. We'll make the best of this. There's an old adage that a bad day fishing is better than a good day of work. And the guys are putting that to the test as they head out to the shallow reefs of the Lower Keys, where a hot yellowtail snapper bite means fish tacos are on the menu. So we judge these fish based on tacos. So, you, you know, a 12-inch fish is a single taco. Then we have, like, a 16-inch fish taco and a half. And then, like, anything over 20 is two tacos. Those are huge tacos. He's big, though. Well, more like a, like a fish burrito, you know? There you go. <laughs> We're using bonita chunks here, fine red meat. You might catch me eating some of it throughout the it's day. It's the other red meat. Yeah, basically drifting that back, making that look like a piece of chum. Oh, got him on! How many tacos you got? Uh, well, the way that you said, probably half of one. Half a taco? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a single. That's a solo taco. They are beautiful, though, you know? Oh, yeah. Really pretty fish. Go ahead, Lane, your turn. Get him! Oh my God. Let's see what we got here. Eh, it's legal, but it's not impressive. Doesn't meet our standards, right? Right, right. Yeah, we're looking for a taco and a half plus. Oh. Hooked up, hooked up. I might have a fish on. You're on me. I'm trying to get Dude, off Get here. your line off of mine. You're going to make me lose Stay my... on your side of the boat. Dude, it's all tangled. Come on, man. Just cut your line. It'll be I'll all right. Cut your line. Don't cut anything. Just relax. Thank you. Stay on your side of the boat. Yellowtail snapper, delicate, white, flaky meat. Everybody loves it. It's not, you know, it's mild enough. Kids will eat it. It doesn't have any gamey taste to it. And they make great freaking tacos. All right, Lane, get out of my way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch some tacos here. Big yellowtail coming right up. Uh-oh. Got a pour. Got a pour. Here it comes. This is a triple taco, I can tell. Oh, that's nice. Look at this. There oh, he is. Look at this. There he Woo! is. That's four tacos. Well, for Mike, it's really only two. But. Yeah, we need to get somebody else to hold this fish so it really shows how big it is. But right. pretty fish. That'll feed the family. Feed the family right there. In the bucket. Come here. That's a nicer one. Yeah, baby. It's not quite as big as that one I caught, but close. Let's watch us go eat it. We're doubled up in the back. Doubled up in the back. What do we got? Uh, I, think, I think, oh yeah, that'll make a taco. That's keeper. We're keeping that. That's two tacos. Put him in the taco box. Does George have a taco? But oh yeah, double tacos. Not bad. Not bad at all. For getting blown out for as many days, this is fun. Pretty fish right there. It's 15 inch fish, you know, I mean. You don't feel bad about keeping some of them. And listen, there's so many yellowtails out here on the reef from Key Largo to Key West. Right. That, I mean, you're not ever going to put a dent in them. You know, they grow fast and they multiply quickly. They leave those shallow reefs, come out here when they get a little bit bigger. And I mean, you see, we're looking at big school I'm right here swimming around eating right. all the chum. Right. 
George, I'm missing pieces to the reel over here, dude. I'm missing my little end cap. What? That's not, I didn't do it. Yeah, of course. Why are you, you, why are you telling me about it? Because it's missing and it's not me. I didn't miss it. Uh, You're using it. Uh, it wasn't me. Oh, that ain't a bait. That might be the right one. That, Is that might the right be. one? I don't know. I don't think it's a shark yet. Yeah, act sharky. A little heavy. Is that the Moton fish? Uh-oh, that's a shark. That's a shark. That's the beauty of reef fishing. You just never know. No, that's the fun part. Things just look like sports cars, huh? Look at that, how sleek. <laughs> Where's he going with that? <laughs> like a sports car, he's I don't know, Mike. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Sometimes he rambles. Just off the coast of Big Pine Key in Florida's Lower Keys, the guys are nearing their limit of taco-sized yellowtail snapper with Captain Mike Dewan. Despite the fun, Tropical Storm Etta is approaching and has made the spotty conditions worse. Putting their safety above catching fish, the guys decide to call it a day and head home to Key Largo. Anxious to get back on the water after the storm, George and Lane once again make the journey south to the Lower Keys. Arriving a day early, the guys check into the Perry Hotel for a good night's rest before fishing with old friend, Captain Bob Bigley. That wasn't too bad. No, not two and a half hours. All. I think you were snoring for a little bit there. Was I? Yeah. Did I fall asleep? Yeah. I had some drool on my chin. Yeah. I got a lot of stuff, huh? I'm excited. I hadn't seen Bob in a while. Yeah. Oh, you need me to carry anything for you? No, I got all my stuff. Good, good. Yeah. Hey, can you hold the door? Come on. Oh, I'll hold the door for you. Go ahead. Watch the rod. Dude, dude, get him out of my way. Nice luggage, by the way. Yeah. Is that Louis Vuitton or something? What is that? Some fancy luggage you got there? Food. Got my toiletry bag. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a lot of issues here. What? I don't even really know where to start. With what? But I guess I, guess I got to start with that over there, of all things. I don't have a teddy bear, Lane. That's not a teddy bear. It's my teddy That's my face. I take you everywhere I go. <sighs> Come on, dude. You got to wake up. Come on. Dude, five more minutes. No, we, Bob's here in five minutes. We got to be outside in up, five minutes. I was up all night. I was up late doing stuff. I hate being late. Dude, where's my toothpaste? I don't know, George. I don't have your toothpaste. Dude, you took it. Ah! Come on, man. It's Dude, daylight. Don't do You're late. That. Come on, man. I'm going outside to meet Bob. You just take Come on, lightning. Come ready. on, Flash. Where'd you get French fries from? We're in a fan. Hey, Bob. What's up, brother? Hey, good morning, guys. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. What's up, my man? I'm hugging the big guy. Yeah, man. I'm excited, Bob. I'm always excited to go with Bob. With offshore conditions still unfavorable, Bob takes the guys to a spot he found when he literally fell into it. This freshwater sinkhole is an oasis that holds a huge variety of fish and in turn attracts a large number of sharks and other predators. I have to rig my rod up because Lane has Bob doing it for him. I rigged mine up earlier and then he took it. You did not rig up this rod. I did. No, you didn't. That rig that's on there, I made. Yesterday, that didn't count. So what? Don't, you don't touch another man's rig, Lane. Looks like lemons back there, huh? Yeah, you can probably just chuck it back there and let it sit. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you catch one, half of it's mine. Does that mean you're gonna hook it? No, it means that you're using my rig and my rod. He's got okay. it. Whoa! <laughs> there he is. Fish on, George! Hey, way to get one for, for us. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh boy! He's shaking that head! Let me get out of the Run way. Run the boat. Run the boat. Run the boat. Come on, come on, come on. Get by, over, the, by, get over by, that. Get by. over that. <laughs> he's going. He's not happy right now. Oh, my God. I have to slow him down a little bit. Wow. Well, you, you, you picked a fight with a really, really big one. Wine, wine, wine. Come on. Get, tighten the drag up a little. What are you doing? Don't listen to me. 
You had not shut up. How do I not listen to you? I can't help it. That's all I hear you stole, is you yapping you stole, in my ear. You basically stole my rig, which in, not in turn, your rig. you stole my fish. And I Look, it's got my name that. etched in the side of it. All right, so that is basically my fish. You guys are friends, right? Yep. OK, just checking. Only on weekends, Bob. Get that violent head shake. They, it feels like you lost them because you get the slack in a line with these big sharks. Do you see any more? Oh, yeah, there's about 20 of them right here. Lemons? Yeah, OK. It's nice to finally get out here and have it. It's blowing 15 today, and it feels like it's no wind at all. What we've had to deal with the past month, really, it's the worst stretch of weather I've seen in the 22 years I have been in the Keys. So you get a beautiful day like this, get to come out here with our good buddy, Bob Bigley, and he puts us on this flat that is just full of sharks and big cudas. What a blast. Guess what? What? You I'm got a fish on? Twice as nice. What? Yup. Hey, don't get in my you way, You might have right? to get out of my way. No, I was yeah, here I... first. The guys are in Big Pine Key, fishing with old friend Captain Bob Bigley, where George and Lane are doubled up on a pair of angry sharks. It's a little bitty fish. He's not going that far. What's a little? The fish you got on. You see him? Oh. You hear that? Tarpon just You hear that? That's not little bitty fish. How you doing there, buddy? Barely breaking a sweat. How you doing? Oh, I just got eaten off. Did you? Yep. Okay, we can't let George tie any more knots. Wasn't my knot. Make sure you check the knot for a curly cue. Hey, George, if you want to curl up and cry a little bit back there, I won't, I won't say anything. It's a lot of work here. I mean, this is no little shark. But if you notice, I'm not winching them in. I'm using the rod that's fighting the fish. Then I just reel the rod tip down to the fish. I never put slack in a line. You got a little bonnet head on. What? Yeah, I'm a little bonnet head shark. This thing would be five bonnet heads. OK. Well, you know, still half mine. Nothing better than sharking in shallow water, man. Wow, that's awesome, huh? That is the real deal. Look at that remora. Oh, how about you de-hook it? I can't. I, you can't rod. touch the rod. You can't. Well, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean I can't touch the rod? You've already caught the fish. It's IFGA regulations. International this Fish Guides Association. This could end up being really bad. This is, look at all them teeth. Don't put your hand in there. Good job, buddy. You just broke my wrist. That's OK. Well, give me a high five with the other wrist. Yeah, really? It hurts. Come on. Woo, woo. Bob. All right, hey, hey, you know what? That was That's half mine. No, well, look, here, here. It's yours now. Take it. No, 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 I got it. <laughs> here. I'm good. No, I'm giving you your rod back. I'm good. Take it back. Twist your little hook back on there. Nothing little about that hook, pal. The Florida Keys Reef is the world's third largest coral barrier reef. It protects the shoreline from eroding away into the ocean and is the source of attraction for two of the most popular activities in the Keys, fishing and scuba diving. A number of factors have led to the decline of the reef over the years. But Moat Marine Laboratory in Summerlin Key is dedicated to finding answers. Scientists from around the world grow, breed, and study a variety of coral species with the ultimate goal of identifying genetic traits that can help the reef sustain end of century predictions for both weather and ocean acidification. With the help of coral restoration technician Zach Craig, George and Lane see if they have what it takes to be a moat marine intern. I'll show you how to microfrag. Microfrag sounds important. Jackhammer involved? Uh, no, it's uh, more like a bandsaw. That's power tool. Power tool. We're, We're good. We can handle that, Zach. Let's go, well, man. Let's yeah. do it. We're working with a coral called mountainous star coral. So this is the guy that creates the huge mounds. That this really? Is actually, this that is little guy? The, yep. This is one no of the way. reef builders. OK. Wow. So they're like the concrete blocks. Essentially, yeah. Gotcha. We can actually cut this into small pieces to induce a faster growth rate so they can cover a surface in a quicker amount of time. Why are you you're banging my arm? Is this helping? You're not cutting it straight. I'm half blind. I should have brought my glasses. You're up next. It's your turn. All right. Go ahead. All right. So I'm going to grab this one. 
you should watch what you're doing. I don't need to. I'm just <laughs> that good. <laughs> now you're professional, huh? All right, get the glue. Is this the last one? I think that's it. Look at that. We just grew a coral reef, Lane. We that's just impressive. Grew a coral reef. That's impressive. I'm telling you, this hey, is awesome. We're saving the world. We're biologists and everything now. You know what? I learned an awful lot today, Zach. I really appreciate you letting us be a part of this, and and you know. Thanks for putting up with George and myself, Zach. Um, you did good. You know, you don't see this because it's underwater, but it is it's right. a huge piece of our national treasure here in the United States. Zach, thank you so much for having us. Thanks, Zach. Absolute pleasure. Yep. Thank you. Yep. The guys are with Captain Bob Bigley in a secret fishing hole somewhere near Big Pine Key, where the shark action is starting to heat up. That's some yummy, bloody stuff right there, huh? Look at that. All right, Lane, you're gonna get a bite. You're, where? Right oh, now. What? Oh, what? what? <laughs> I'm trying to pick up the back of the boat here where you cut the bait. I watched him do it. He swam over and you're like, what were you doing? Picking your nose or something? I was picking up your mess. No, it wasn't my mess. I'm always doing it. Ah, that was awesome. You want something that pulls hard? In the Florida Keys, I'm gonna tarp it on around. These lemon sharks are an absolute blast. How you doing? Doing good. My arm's getting a little tired. Unfortunately, there's no there's no way to get in shape for fishing. No. Like you can lift weights and everything, but yeah, if you're not fishing, you're not getting in that kind of shape. It's just nope. muscles you don't use. They're little weird muscles, huh? Yeah. <laughs> muscles you don't use. Oh. Double up. Well, oh, oh, I got a really really crazy one. He's like all over the place. So Bob, I'm counting sheep. How many fish we have, and how many people are available to de-hook fish? Unfortunately, I'm on uh, carcass control. Wow, that sounds like something I would say. <laughs> uh oh, hooked right in the corner. That Daiichi, that's a 9-0 Daiichi. I stepped it up a little bit. Found a corner of the mouth again. <sighs> nice job, and you didn't Woo! lose a thumb. Uh, that's what it's all about. Good to see you guys having fun. Woo. Look at that. Son. That's what you call a wide gap circle <laughs> hook. Really <laughs> super, <laughs> super wide gap. <laughs> look, look at the heavy duty hook I had. <laughs> That's a huge <laughs> a dike. A 9 -0. Friggin' 9 -0. Look at the gauge. See the gauge on that? I mean, and. But that's how much pressure that shark turned and it turned his head. head. And I had that thing locked down on right. the V-hooker and open that hook up. That's not easy. Whew. You got pliers you can cut this wire with? No. Located in the heart of the Lower Keys, Tonio's Seafood Shack and Tiki Bar features a laid back island vibe with a menu that will make the whole family happy. One of their most popular dishes is Tonio's Pescatori. Chopped garlic, white wine, and butter are combined with a traditional red pasta sauce. Then fresh mussels, little neck clams, shrimp, and scallops are added to cook in the sauce. Served over a bed of linguine pasta, this is a dish that is certain to delight. All the different flavors of seafood, man, I love it. Great Cheer call. Cheers to us. Next time on The Fish Guys. Oh! oh. Here it is. <laughs> You're so oh. I'm just hanging on right now, dude. This could be a world record. Oh. Nice. <laughs> yeah! I smoked it. Look at that cooler, bro. Look at that, huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah! Turn it on, buddy. Nice job. Fish on! Double! Woo double A! We Stop got a guys. double! Permatopia comes alive. Woo! -wee.